Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Ubuntu 22.10 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and go to the official website of Ubuntu and download the Ubuntu 22.10 official ISO file. After you have finished downloading the ISO file open another tab and go to the Rufus website and download the latest version of Rufus. So after that close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB or more. Please note that your pen drive data will be deleted so please make a backup first. After that go to the Rufus downloaded directory and open Rufus. Now select the Ubuntu ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now to select the partition scheme. Go to the Windows search and type system information. After that look for BIOS mode. Mine is UEFI but yours might be UEFI or legacy. So if you have legacy you can choose the partition scheme as MBR and if you have UEFI you need to select GPT partition scheme. Once the process is complete, close Rufus and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now select the disk with the largest volume and then right click on it and select shrink volume. Now give it a size of at least 32 GB but for the sake of this video I am going to give it about 40 GB. Now close disk management and restart your computer. Now while your PC or laptop is starting press either escape key or F12 key depending on your motherboard to open up your boot menu and once the boot menu is open select the USB option to boot into the Ubuntu ISO file. So finally we are booted into the Ubuntu ISO file. Now if you want to try Ubuntu you can try to check if everything is working properly before installing. Since I have already tried it I am just going to click install. Choose your keyboard layout and your language. And I also recommend you to connect to the internet during the setup process to download the updates. Check on install third party softwares and uncheck on secure boot. You can choose the first option if you want the automatic partitioning but I am going to choose the something else option to manually partition our drive. Now click on the free space which we created from windows and right click on it and select add. Now select the file type as ext4 and mount point as root which is forward slash. Now for bootloader installation you need to choose the partition which says windows boot manager in UEFI systems and if you have legacy systems then you need to choose the top partition in the options. Now 
now double check everything and click on continue now if you are connected to the internet it will automatically detect your time zone and if it doesn't then please select your time zone manually type your user details and password for the operating system Now this process may depend on your computer and your internet speed. Finally the Ubuntu installation is completed, now click on restart now and once the message pops up, please remove your pen drive and press enter. Now while your computer is starting, go into your BIOS menu and go into the boot tab and make sure that the Ubuntu is on the top of the boot priority press F10 to save and exit now every time your computer starts up you will see this grub menu to choose between your operating systems as you can see first option is Ubuntu and the third option is Windows for now I'm going to boot into Ubuntu Finally we have installed Ubuntu successfully, now I am going to complete this quick setup and we are going to try to boot into Windows to see if it is working or not. As you can see we are also able to boot into windows and if you just came for the dual boot guide then this is it and if you want to see how to remove Ubuntu from dual boot then stick around. Now I am going to show you how to remove Ubuntu from dual boot. So for that open CMD in administration mode. Now type disk part and once you are inside disk part type this disk to see your disks in your computer now select your disk by typing cell disk and your disk number now type list vol and you will see your list of volumes now you need to select your volume with the label of system now type SEL vol and the number of your volume with system Now type assign letter is equals to Z and after that type exit and then after that type Z and give a colon.
please note that this removal guide is only for UEFI systems and if you have a MBR legacy system then you can find the link to the guide in the description box below now we can open disk management again and we can just delete the Ubuntu partition which we created earlier and then select the disk next to it and se select the extend volume so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you liked my video and found it helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you